Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. Absolute, absolute pleasure to have you along with me today. So thank you for you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies joining us today. Okay, what do I want to have a look at? Um, gosh, I wish I was wrong on occasion, but I'm going to use the Light Seers Tarot for this particular reading, entertainment only. I had read a long, long time ago um, when Roe versus Wade was first overturned by the Supreme Court and then the state started bringing out um, uh, significant abortion restrictions that there would be really sadly loss of life and it would take loss of life for the states to wake up to themselves and uh, overturn the the horrific uh, legislation that they've put through in regards to women's women's health and it's not even just reproductive health it's not about abortion it's reproductive health but women's health in general because with reproductive health you've got things like endometriosis and polyps and and uh, fetal um, death and just fallopian tube issues cervical cancer ovarian cancer all of those uh, have been caught up under this banner of uh, so-called conservative legislation. So what's happened recently, incredibly uh, painful to, to see the news on it. Two women in, in Georgia have died preventable deaths because they were not able to access women's reproductive health care in regards to... Um, one of them, for example, was a uh, infected fe fetal tissue uh, in in this uh, young lady's womb. She's a single mother, seven year old child, I believe. Couldn't access legal health care to have a DNC uh, to clean out her um, uh, womb, her etc. And um, because it was illegal to perform a DNC. So the doctors, I feel really feel for the ethical doctors, they are faced with a ghastly d dilemma of to perform this and face jail uh, for a, a four decades or to just, oh gosh, what a situation to be in. So I just want to have a look. I'm getting chills up and down my body. This is just so horrific. Using my mother's deck, the Lightseer's Tarot, I just want to see what is going to come out of these women's passing. Urgh. This makes me so, so, so angry that those that men who do not understand reproductive health. Now, who was I watching? Jimmy Kimmel last week uh, in, I think it was, was it in Texas? I can't remember where he had it, but uh, he had a reporter out in the field who had a women's reproductive system and were asking women and men to point out where various pieces were. None of them had a clue. Half of them thought the the um, identification of, of the various parts of a woman's reproductive system were um, products from Ikea, like uh, just... You know, these people who have absolutely no clue are making these decisions. So show me the energies, show me the energies of what's going to come out of this. Now, the first card that came down, it is very much about a woman's options because it is not just abortion. There is a whole vast array of health care that is connected to this legislation that has um, been health care that has been made illegal. So this very much at the heart of it, it's about a woman's options. We've got the second signifier card here. There's a disconnect in regards to the truth and the, and the fiction. And it's taking a lot of people by surprise unexpected surprise what do you mean this happened this is not what's meant to happen there's been this massive disconnect 
Okay, what's going on behind the scenes, Justice? There may be a court case brought forward in regards to the passing of these women. I so hope so. A court case where the sword of justice is drawn. And women are speaking out. The Knight of Wands. They are speaking out loudly. The fact that this happened just before an election is not going to go well for those that have supported this archaic, um, uh, uh, restrictive legislation. Women will not be silenced in regards to this. Actions will have consequences, which is another meaning of the justice card. The sword has been drawn, the sword of battle. And women will not be silenced in regards to this. A lot of anxiety. Absolutely cannot dispute that. There is so much anxiety. Even if you are in a relationship and you are wanting a child, there's this anxiety about do I fall pregnant knowing that if I need health care for any reason, I cannot get it. Uh, if you're taking preventative measures, what if something goes wrong, um, the condom breaks or the pill doesn't work for whatever reason, a lot of anxiety in regards to that. There's just so much women's things, just nightmarish situation for them and for the men that support them because the men that love these women don't want their women to have to go through this either and they share the ang the anxiety and, and the despair over it as well. However, I always point out that you have the white raven here that is coming through. This will be dispelled, but right now it is dark night of the soul energy because of men and their money. It's also a it can be a protection card, protection of, of women through and women's health. So I'm getting a double meaning with that card. It is about men who who you know are sitting back in their libraries or wherever they are, online searching for dis and misinformation about women's health. Uh, some of the legislators perhaps looking at it for grifting, making these rulings for grifting purposes because then they get donations from certain bodies. But it's also the second meaning of this card is very much about protection of women's health and really powerful protection of women's health. Okay, crowning this reading. Yep, emotionally overwhelming. And changes coming, new beginning. This is an incredibly emotionally overwhelming um, situation. And changes coming, and change that is bought from the heart and from compassion. Uh, yep, and the Ace of Swords as well. New legal beginnings, uh, new scientific wisdom beginnings, new knowledge beginnings, new new um, cutting through and um, dispelling the raven. I don't know if you can see, it's very dark on dark there. There is a raven there dispelling this darkness. But there are steps to, that need to be taken to achieve this point. So we've got this new beginning coming, both emotionally and intellectually. But there are steps that need to be taken and the first step is to potentially at the moment write to your um, legislator, protest in the street, vote and get people to vote. It's not sitting back and expecting something to have, expecting the solution to happen. Women at the moment are feeling emotionally drowning because of this emotionally underwater. These emotions need to be brought to the surface and expressed. The emotion of it needs to be brought to the surface, but at the moment women just feel like they're drowning. The seeds need to be planted in regards to women's health 
and nurtured to fruition. And they will be. I call this, um, well, basically what's happened is it is very much about change. For so long, women have been pouring themselves emotionally and spiritually into this false promise of a black pit with this light in the bottom. And, and the light is saying, if you, if you just pour enough into me, if you just give me enough, then the light will come to the surface and all will be wonderful. And it never comes to the surface. Women are being duped. They have been duped. They need to turn their attention towards what they can do, something different that they're not looking at at the moment. This emotional container here that they're not looking at contains these seeds that need to be planted to bring about this new future and it will be a new future. Look at these three aces in this short reading. But what has always been done with uh, that have been feeding this false promise that have been literally sucking women emotionally and spiritually dry with this false promise to the point where they just feel like they are drowning in the emotion of it all, need to change tact. Tack. Get my yachting terms right. Need to look at what they are not doing, what they can bring to the table, what they can do to bring about this change and nurture this change because if they do, it will be here for women. Powerful for women. We've got community, Ten of Pentacles. We've got uh, the court systems, the King of Swords. And we have women bringing, bringing their future to their fruition through their messaging, broadening their horizons, look, bringing forward their options. Okay, that's a powerful, powerful energies reading there. I'm just going to narrow it down and just see whether there will be a court case challenge that will be bought by whomever that it will represent these two women in Georgia. What was that card? What I saw the New beginning card, the fool card, show me. Oh, it's all about women's health, protecting women's health. A lot of messaging coming forward really quickly about women's health. These are not isolated cases. I think there's more going to come out. Um, there's going to be traction here. I keep seeing Texas. Uh, I have can't say can't say I've heard anything recently about uh, Texas, but Texas is going to be in the same boat as well. But show me, uh, are there going to be legal challenges in regards to? It's all about women supporting. It's all about women supporting women. Harris, independent female, standing up and. Seven of Wands um, being very comfortable with their decision to bring this forward. It is about Queen of Pentacles, uh, which is about protecting women's health. It is about partnerships, genuine partnerships, the men that support women. It's time we've got movement forward. So it's time there will be movement forward on this may not be until after the election. Let's have a look. Will there be will there be legal action taken in regards to these two women? There was a panel of ten doctors agree that these especially the one that was denied the DNC when she sought it. 
and the uh, fetal tissue became infected and cost her her life a very painful life from what I understand 20 days before she passed um, goodness I just will there be legal action and I'm not talking about against the doctors I'm talking about against the legislators will there be legal action taken against the legislators the legislators or the legislation will there be legal action this just makes me so quietly angry let me just put this up. quietly and very very angry will there be legal action so we've got the knight of pentacles yes there will be progress movement forward on this move but it'll be slow challenged by a new beginning have faith faith the universe has got their back in regards to this um uh, these these women are they're i'm just going to say they're helping from the other side is the the really intense feeling but yeah new start new beginning foundation walking away from the, what does not serve this legislation wands can be legislation they're about communication and messaging they're about plans they're about um for me legislation walking away from this legislation that is not working in the past we have the two of wands uh, the decision about whether to step out into the world and speak up about this or to just stay where it's safe. But that's in the past. The decision time has passed. So, crowning this reading, the Page of Swords, young women. Young women bringing forth legal action. They've been walking across this, this chasm on this tightrope but they're just about to step off. So I'm going to say young women bringing this legal action. Just bring it down ever so slightly further. In the immediate future, well, we've got this these male legislators making decisions about women's reproductive health in the near future. And their attempts to muddy the water and cloud the message and and confuse the path forward in regards to this because they have basically tied it to abortion it's not abortion it's women's reproductive health in its many facets so these externally these these men that have made these decisions and they may also be some women who i call men in skirts um may they're clouding clouding it they're smoke and mirrors and they're putting in confusion and in that confusion you've got the snake and the bat and the rat and all this pestilence to cloud the path forward that needs to be taken that has trapped women and trapped women's health and denied them access abandoned them and denied them access however the key is right here the lock is here it is up to women and the men that support women to unfurl from this defensive position and take action this is very much action needs to be taken here we have the star of hope and healing in the hopes lighting the candle holding on to the star of hope the outcome women women's voices being heard about them their them in their partnerships it is a legal crossroads moment and then we have death and rebirth it is taken this is about death and birth women's reproductive rights are about death and birth but it is also about a significant ending of the dark and a beginning of the light as a stance is taken, the stance is taken, and women stand defiantly behind that boundary that they are putting up. I like these cards, but goodness me, 
where this legislation is going to be stopped and we have more moderation coming through, more balance, more equal balance coming through. Okay, so yeah, it, the change is coming. It's not just Georgia. I see all the states um, will go down this path at some stage, but just the fact, and I had read, and it absolutely kills me, killed me at the time, uh, when I say, you know, killed as in devastated my soul at the time when I read this, whenever long ago it was, that it would take women's deaths uh, for action to be taken um, and it's come to light. But I take heart in the fact that action will be taken. Okay, love to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.